Hey, what's up gamers? Enforcer5150 here, and yes, I am in a different game, and I just want to talk a little bit more about the override features that you have for Icarus and other games that might show unsupported and everything else, and there is a lot of confusion because the video was not very clear on a lot of things, and I've been trying to show it as much as I can in the last two videos, but you know, sometimes just can't, and it's a little bit more difficult. But we're gonna try a little bit more here in Icarus, and see how this one works. Right now I am in here, and I just have it on a 3D application. It should be ready to use the new version here soon. As you see, if I move around, it's kind of weird. Now we are, you can see a little bit of ghosting there, but now we are currently on the RTX, uh, 2080 Ti. This is a 20 series graphics card, not the uh, 4080 that I was on before. And I know a lot of people are like, yeah, it only works on 50 series or it's only working on, on 40 series, but that's not entirely true. Uh, we're in 1440p because this game definitely cannot do uh, 4, uh, 4K. Um, but one thing you do want to make sure that you're doing uh, before trying to enable your DLSS uh, 4 is you need to go on well for the override i should say not just for dlss4 because most games already have it on there but for here you need to turn it on you need to turn on uh super resolution on ultra performance ultra performance is the one that they want you to use either that or you want to use dlaa for games that have the dlaa and then you need to exit the game and then uh you can go ahead and refresh everything but anyway uh Going on, we're going to go ahead and exit out of here and go to the NVIDIA override settings. All right, so now if you have a game like Icarus here, and you go down here, and these are still showing just unsupported, uh, there's a few reasons for that. Some that your game already has just a check mark. But as you see, we have your model presets and your super resolution. Now, if we go and look at the settings again, now this is, they did update this and I do want to point something out that they updated here because this is what I've been trying to tell everybody in the last two videos. In the table, a check mark donates that a game or app has native support for DLSS feature, which means if it has just a check mark, you will not be able to use the override feature. It will not be in here. Just because it says unsupported here does not mean that the DLSS is not is not supported or DLSS4 is not supported. It just means that you cannot use it. You cannot use the override feature itself because it's already in the game. Now with Icarus, we're going to go ahead and look at what they have for that because they do have a few there. So we'll go ahead and look at the Icarus here. And as you see here, we have NV nv and u nv and then we're missing the fourth one over and we have a check mark on there now the ones that have nv nv itself just means that you would need to use the override feature now if you have a game that only has a check mark you will not be able to use the override feature because it already supports it in the game so the game itself i mean you can go ahead and use dls as switcher but it, it doesn't really matter because it all it's already enabled so uh, if you look at, at Icarus here, you see there's only the ones at the end that don't work. Sorry for quick scrolling, but you have these ones here. So basically frame generation is not gonna work on the 20 series because frame, frame generation just does not work. But you have DLSS super resolution and it also has uh, DLAA, or I think it said DLAA, but if you look at this here, it all ma it all matches up. If we click on there, the only thing that you'll be able to use is the super resolution, and you put it at latest. Latest is going to use the K version, as we explained in the previous two videos. So I'll just go ahead and put that on there, and the super resolution here. Now this is another part that is really confusing to people, and I finally figure out what they're, they're talking about. The only versions that it's actually working in right now for the DLSS4 is the ultra performance at 33% and are the DLAA. So you have 100% or you're at 33%. Uh, so that is what you want to use for your super resolution for a game like this. And we'll go ahead and restart the game. And for some reason, I can't skip, skip the beginning. So it's going to take me a bit. I'll be right back as I load it up. 
All right, I needed to uh, stop myself uh, before we actually get into uh, the game part where I started talking about it uh, because I said that there is not much of a difference. I couldn't be more wrong, and yeah, I can definitely grade eight that. But yeah, you can definitely tell on the left side with the DLSS4, there is more detail, especially in like the clothing. As you look in the clothing in the back, uh, it is way more detailed than the right side, which the right side you can see is kind of blurred out, a little, you know, blob, you know, kind of mush there. So I just wanted to go ahead and do a quick uh, insert here while I'm editing and let you know that, yeah, there is definitely more of a difference than I'm about to say. So the guy that you're about to listen to is kind of wrong in the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> so let's go ahead and get back to it. All right, we are back in the game, and I don't know, the DLSS 4 doesn't have that much difference. I already had it loaded up with it before, and I really think that uh, they could do a little bit more with like games like Icarus, but it, it still looks decent. Um, shadows and stuff like that are you know kind of a big thing when it comes to a game like this. Because, you know, it just adds more realism to the game. But uh, this computer, this one is the one my wife uses, which is on the RTX 2080 Ti and the i9-10900K, which I was using a lot before. I don't know why I have it as 10800K. Yeah, it's 900K. <laughs> but yeah, in, in 1440p, I don't know, it, things don't look as crisp as they could be. And we are, like I said, we're in ultra performance, which ultra performance is not uh, not bad. But I think if we switch, oh, 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 you gotta be a wolf. I am. I mean, that looks good. But if we turn it up, I mean, I'm gonna go under 60 FPS. I don't, I can't remember. I'm pretty sure we can just switch it in game on this one. But as you see, we're using the uh, older model. And it is not bad. I don't think quality quality is supposed to work with the LSS4. It's supposed to be the ultra performance from what I'm understanding. But yeah, definitely quality looks good, even in the the, qual the quality mode, I should say. But, you know, uh, we're comparing it with ultra performance, and the ultra performance almost looks the same as quality now. And once they upgrade the uh, quality DLSS to DLSS 4, uh, that's, I can't even imagine right now, because it's really good in quality. Anyway, that's all we're going to do for this video today. Make sure you hit that like button, definitely subscribe if you're new to the channel. Y'all take care, and happy gaming. Yeah.